All right, I'm Nick out in the garage. I'm gonna take a few minutes today and I'm gonna show you how I installed the camera mount on the front of the Hobie Mirage Lynx. We receive a ton of questions about rigging and in the future we're gonna we're gonna do what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna do it for every item. We're gonna take an in-depth look at how we rigged it, why we rigged it, show you guys it right here at the table and then show you a first person point of view at the kayak so you guys can see everything step by step. So first off, to put the fish finder, or sorry, put the uh, camera on the front of the kayak as you can see in this video, you're gonna need these two pieces, okay? And the first piece is this. This is actually made by Yak Attack. It is a SUP, as in paddleboard, leash plug adapter. Now, it's on there for 15 bucks. There's two different listings, it's the same product, sold by two different distributors. One's 15, one's 24. And all you really need out of it is this bolt. Unscrew it real quick. And you guys will get a better look at this bolt in a minute. This is the adapter that goes into the plug on the Lynx, also common in surfboards and paddle boards, why they call it the SUP leash adapter. Um, it's important. All it's gonna do is go into this, which is the Yak Attack Panfish Portrait Pro. Um, I believe it's 60 bucks. There's a link below. It comes with this T-bolt. First thing we're gonna do is pop this apart, loosen this T-bolt. We don't need this right now, but you can take this T-bolt, you can go back over here to your paddle holder, and now you have a paddle holder for whatever kayak you wanna put it on, and I have those on the kayak as well. Then we will just take the adapter, we will install that in there, and we'll install this piece on the kayak, and then this piece just clips in place, and you have your GoPro mount. But I will take the time, I'll put the headset on, I'll go over there, and I will show you how this goes on the kayak step by step, so you guys can see it. And remember, the links are below for both of these items. Very, very easy to do. That camera position has worked well for me. If you've watched the videos in the past of catching a sailfish or the tuna, uh, that's where this was mounted. Actually, it's probably mounted there for every fish I've ever caught from the links. It does a good job. I like it out in front of me. Many of you guys know I'm not a real big fan of filming my fishing trips. I'd rather just go fishing and catch fish. Uh, it's just part of it, okay? So I'll put the stuff on. I'll get over there, and you guys will see me installing Okay, obviously we're over to the kayak. I put both of the parts back in their normal configuration. So like I showed you before, we're just gonna remove this piece, discard that for now. You can take this apart. This piece pops out. We'll loosen and remove this T-bolt. This leash plug adapter will slide in place. And then you simply hook that groove over there. You'll need to pull up and get this piece lined up. These two grooves go in there. And then pull up and tighten down. It'll slowly pull itself in place. It'll come down. This will be nice and firm. You don't need to hawk out or tighten it down too much. And then you simply slide this in place. That locks. You have the ability to loosen this quite a bit. Use the spring, adjust it how you want it, tighten it back down. And then on top, obviously you have the ability to loosen and swivel this. And like every other GoPro, you just take that piece off, slide your GoPro in, and then you can adjust it wherever you need it or wherever you see fit. I like to keep it a little bit loose. That way I can just quickly turn this around and film any direction. That's what we did on all the charters. So very, very simple. Then you have extra pieces. Once you have a collection, you'll have multiple size T-bolts. And you simply can put this here, tighten it down. And then you have a paddle holder or a net holder. I usually put mine over there, but for sake of the video, I'll just put it right there so you can see it.
Very, very simple. So that's that. Super simple, very, very easy to do. It will run you roughly $70 if you purchase it from the links below. It is a good setup. It'll serve you well. You'll be able to reuse it in the future, right? Even if you get rid of that kayak, you'll be able to use this on a variety of kayaks. All you have to do is change that T-bolt out or that adapter out that goes in the leash plug and you are good to go. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. If you have questions or anything, drop a comment below or send me an email at nick at navarrekayakfishing.com. Thanks for watching.